You f- you still feel poorly when before yeah. we went to break you started feeling like the, Every, the yeah. non canonical nature of Chewbacca's oh, status. You, you saying that makes me feel. I don't know. I feel uh, I never felt like this before. It's very strange. You think it's because you just received this news about? I, I feel like it's got to have something to do with it. Okay. Well, is there anything I can do for you? Can I? No. I, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm going to send a text to a friend of mine. Okay. This is a just-in-case kind of thing, okay? Okay. I, I think I'm going to be all right, but— uh, Someone's going to come pick you up? Is that what you're saying? Uh, in a matter of speaking, yeah. Oh, okay. Don't you worry about it. It's none of your business. Oh, all right. Well, send your text. Uh, in the meantime, I just want right. to welcome everyone back What's to the— What's uh, the address here? Okay. And shed. Send. Great. Okay. okay. So in any case, I just want to say, hey, everyone, welcome to the show. And uh, Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome back to it. Or welcome to it in, if you started this podcast in the middle. Welcome to you. Welcome to you. Are you okay? Can I, I feel I'm like, that good. I feel like I need to do something here for you. Maybe you could shut up. <laughs> All right. That would that would help. Oof. Yeah, I feel... Uh, you ever get that feeling where uh, it's like you, you, like you, you, your limbs are not your own, like, like they belong to somebody else? Like, like you're a doll, and someone took off the your arms and legs and attached different doll parts on you, or something. Boy, that's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a doll, sure, but you're self-aware. Sure, you're sentient. And so somebody has- Much like uh, your R2-D2 cake. Boom, Masha Bell. <laughs> that was a disaster. Yeah. Um, and so you're a doll, somebody plucks off your arms and legs, they put other doll arms and legs on you, sure. and then you as the doll, you're like, oh, this feels weird. Sure. I mean, and sometimes it's a good thing, like you get like Hulk Hogan doll arms on sure. you, and you can lift, you know- you're in a better weight class. Yeah, you have the proportionate doll strength <laughs> sure. to a Hulk Hogan doll. <laughs> yes, of course. So sometimes it's a good thing, but most of the time you're a mutant doll that has just different odd parts on yeah, it. Yeah, I guess I feel like that mutant doll. Yeah, do you? I'm so sorry. Yeah, thank you. I, I accept your apology. So what? right now you're gesticulating wildly. What, what, what? Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Why uh, are you doing that? I'm not trying to do it. Why are you waving at me? I'm not trying to wave at you. It's like somebody else is trying to say hello to you. What do you mean? Why are you waving at me right now? I don't want to be back. What? Hello? Hello. Who's... Buddy, what are you... uh, Nobody. Nobody? I'm I'm not your pal. Nobody. Uh, (laughs) How did I get here? Who... uh, My name is H.R. Giger. H.R. Giger, the recently deceased artist? Yes, the proudly deceased I don't want to be. I'm a narco sculptor. Uh, yes, you're a narco. But you, you're the author of the narco Necronomicon. Necronomicon. Yes, and I am not meant for this world. I had gone on. I think that's the way I would have wanted it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is insane because you're in Buddy Velastro's body currently. Oh, am I? Yes. Oh. You, and and yet your voice, yeah, you sound exactly like H. R. Giger. That is who I am, channeling. No doubt, brought back to right some wrongs. Oh, finished unfinished business. My, okay, so let me explain who you are. Yes. Uh, uh, if you don't know who H. R. Giger is, you're an artist, a narco artist, narco sculptor. Narco sculptor. What does that mean? I sculpt the dead. Okay. And if they're not dead, I'm. They are when I'm done with them. Okay. Yeah. So you are most famously you created the alien in the movie series Alien the and Xenomorph. Aliens. The Xenomorph. The yes. Xenomorph, of course. Yes. yes. Uh, and uh, uh, you passed away last week. Didn't yes, you? I just did. And I go to heavens. There's no. There's women's there. Uh huh. Make me suffering. The women's. They're no segregate. So I go down to hell. Okay. And I say to Mr. Devil, you're the devil. Can I work for you? And he says, let me see your work. I show him my paintings, Necronomicon 1 through 4, mm-hmm. one of a lady just getting fucked in half with something that looks like a vacuum hose. Okay, great. Yeah. And he says, that'll do, pig. And then I'm hired, okay? Okay. And then... I guess here I am. I I was so happy. Did he? Did the devil have to check with his boss? Yes, he uh, he went back. 
I died. You had to in kick Georgia. it upstairs. Yeah, um, I died in Georgia. Bad deal. Long story. <laughs> okay. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I didn't know you died in Georgia. I knew yeah. you were Swiss. Uh, I, but. Just a crazy vacation, last minute sort of <laughs> uh, Thelma and Louise thing, but. Um, that's the, how it went down. So now I think I have to figure out my quest before I can go home. Okay, so wait a minute. You you are working for Hell currently? Hell Incorporated. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a big business down there now. Okay, so what, when you say you have to finish unfinished business before you go home, where is home? Hell. Okay, so you want to go to Hell. Absolutely. I've been hired as the art director for Hell because it was like still Dante-type stuff down there. It was looking a little dated. I think. And uh, so I put a new spin on it. Everybody seems much happier or the opposite of happy, but the same correlation. Sure. Yeah, it's yeah. successful, no doubt. Yeah, successful in your work. Um, uh, so, but, so what unfinished business do you have before you go returneth to hell? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out probably something to do with my l- wife, Carmen Maria Schiffele Giger. My wife. Your what? Wife. What? Please don't joke because... The laughter is the enemy of creativity. Oh, that's right. If people don't know your aesthetic, yeah, it's very dark. Yes. Uh, your favorite color uh, is no color. The absence of color. The absence of color. Black, varicose, bruise, cloud, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're in Buddy Velastro's body currently, the Cake Boss. Uh, oh, you're, he's not saying Cake Boss. Interesting. Cake. 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 Boss. Boss. Oh, oh the, Wait, did Buddy just he, <laughs> get re- retain his sentience just to say cake he boss? He is a bit like a whale or a sea mammal where every so once in a while he has to come up for a cake boss air. <laughs> um, so uh, you're, you're a very dark artist. Uh, you, you passed away in Georgia, and I hear it was, it was uh, the result of complications due to a – like some sort of Chewbacca style car crash? Was that what it was? <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. And it is honorable in both Wookiee species and narco sculptors to be hit by a car. Do you but- regret doing the designs while I have you here, by the way, yeah. if I could oh, ask you a few questions? By all means, first, I want to say just two things. Yes. Great to be here. Okay, thank you. And also, wouldn't it be great if our rib cages were a second articulating mandible jaw that we could vanquish our foes with? Uh, I love your ideas, Those and this two. is what this is what your art is all about. But do you regret making the designs for the Alien series and not Star Wars? Oh, well, I think Chewbacca would be so much more interesting if you had designed yeah, it. Yeah, all that fur gets in the way. Um, I I think better to have someone with a bisected rib tube and lots of darkness, blood. Exoskeletons are are the new endoskeletons. Mm, you know? Of course, yeah. Do you? Uh, Darth Vader is maybe the closest to what he's you do. a pussy. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, like, well, how would you do Darth Vader differently? Well, no samurai looking armor because mine would be biomechanical, come natural. If he needs to buy it. Who among us cannot be Darth Vader? Mm. This chosen few with an exoskeleton, those are the men we pull on our shoulders of giants. Mm. Um, you're on my mind like a song on the radio. Al Stewart, great artist. You, you're an Al Stewart fan. Who isn't? Oh. Uh, why do you think that you're possessing the body of Buddy Velastro, the cake boss? I think the way it's explained to me by the devil. He didn't say cake boss again. Interesting. God. Boss <laughs> women's um, is that it has to be a yin yang matter antimatter where cake boss brings joy into cake, cake boss. boss brings joy into the life of many people. My goal is to take it away. Mm. And if I were to say go into Morrissey or Hieronymus Bosch, it, it the universe would implode. Cake, cake boss mm. implode. So uh, the theory then is is that cake boss is the happiest person who brings the most joy to people in the world. Cake. Cake hey, boss. boss. It is no theory. It is a proven fact. So, <sighs> His cakes are uh, just amazing, and they they the, the smiles and the, and the faces that light up when one sees them, except for you know the cubs. Yeah, 
they make me happy, which in turn makes me sad. Mm, very I don't, good. Which then that makes me happy, mm, and okay. it is an, a negative feedback loop. I, you know, I started doing paintings because for therapy, for I had night terrors, and this is true. Mm. And so then I did paintings of my night terrors, which gave me greater night terrors, which oh. gave me greater paintings, and that's how I became all powerful. Why did you keep your paintings right above your bed? Did you? I, I read that you put them on the ceiling as well, so you could stare at them right before you went to bed. That's true. I painted them there on the wall. I didn't oh. even hang them there. Sort of like a Michelangelo kind of alfresco thing? Yeah, it was the agony, and the, there was no ecstasy because mm. I would not have it. Mm. Now listen. Oh, okay. Yes, master. I also made my own bed out of the ossified skin leather mm. of a lesser race. Oh my god. Well, I guess you have to lie in it. <laughs> yeah. If you made your own bed. <laughs> you do. Listen, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> um my so so this is so interesting to me because I had expected to do a show with Buddy Velastro. Who? The, the okay, kick boss. boss. Wow, well, you preempted me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't. He did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I expected to do the entire show with him, but now I have H.R. Giger, with whom I've never spoken. I've always wanted to. I've been a big fan of your work ever but, since yeah, uh, yeah. I was nine years old and the Alien movie came out. And Xenomorph. Xenomorph, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Face hugger. Face hugger, yeah. of course. Did you see Prometheus? Yeah, that was shit. I mean, I worked on it at all. But uh, I do not sanction it. Mm, okay. What about too many questions? Yeah. Not enough answers. It's like you're supposed to answer questions, not answer a couple and then raise a whole bunch more. See, girlfriend, because I am an artist and I should be like all about questions. Mm. But even that was bullshit because I don't think they have the answers themselves. Yeah. And who are those Statue of Liberty looking motherfuckers? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Did you see Grown Ups too? Oh, I own it. <laughs> I I did I did the production design. You did on Grown Ups too. Yeah, under us. You did the just the whole general feeling about it. <laughs> I production. You did design. perception about it. Yeah, I. I, <laughs> I production designed its general reception. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and I think it's my finest work. <laughs> yeah, I really it's do. It's so good. Oh God. Oh. So my goodness. Well, the world lost a great artist, Who? but. You. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez, I got frightened. Why? Right. Who's your favorite artist? Um, the painter Norman of light? Rockwell. Oh. And yes, Thomas Kincaid. Oh, He's yeah. dead, too. He and is. I've got to have a great time with him. Is in he down in hell? Oh, oh, oh dear. It, he's running shit down there. Really? Let me tell you. He was a drinker, to be sure. Mm. Um, and so we've thrown back some fire mead. Mm. And, uh, Are you drunk right I mean, a buddy's drunk. Does that make you drunk? Yeah, I'm 50% drunk right oh, now. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Uh, I don't normally drink because it brings out the angels in me, and I don't like, not the demons. Do you see how I'm an opposite guy? Yeah, I get, no, I understand your <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, that's part of my deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>